about what your strategy is and how you approach your business, because I really think, again, you're unique. Um, you come from, we kind of come from the same era of, you know, the old, old school music industry. And I think you've taken some of the things you've learned and applied them. And then also have done a lot of research um, about how you can build customer bases and fan bases and stay on top of it. So give us a quick walkthrough um, of kind of what your approach is. Like you have a beat, you release it. What do you do after that? Yeah. I mean, well, first of all, I have, I have a website. Mm -hmm. like my home base, you know, and then I have my pro page and I have my beat stars profile. So there's a lot of different things that are going on. YouTube is not my strong suit. I, it started out as a way for me to do tutorials. And then I think two and a half years ago, I started actually uploading beats to it. So I personally don't rely on that. Maybe I'm getting sales from there. I just don't really know. It's a little bit tough to track sometimes where some of your, where, where some of your sales are coming from, but mm -hmm combination of having a website that I, I constantly work on and maintain and um, running my, my ads, which I've been running ads forever, not just for this business, for but for, as you know, I have a recording studio as well. So um, mm -hmm. I thought about uh, pay-per-click advertising, but I think that I brought from the old school uh, when I had to like do a lot of negotiation and do a lot of meetings on, on a weekly basis, I think mm -hmm. I brought a lot of those people skills to the table. So for instance, I have a lot of times where artists will, they want to get them, they want to get on the phone with me and I don't hide from them. I book appointments with them and I get on the phone with them. I ask them, what are they trying to do? What are their needs? Uh, what's their budget? And I try to work it all out as if I was doing a, like an actual legit deal, um, which I still do a ton of deals. Be besides the numbers that are on BeatStars, I have two other businesses that are related to music that have also grown exponentially. Uh, so I think that it's just a combination of Uploading the beats, you know, as frequently as I have time to do when I'm not doing all these other things. And um, then keeping the website updated. I do my email marketing, uh, which uh -huh. is very consistent, very consistent. And that's been a, a great thing. And um, I think when you just tie that all together, the customer service is my number one thing. I have the chat box, which it goes off in the middle of the night and I will answer it in the middle of the night. I don't care. I'll answer it in the middle. I'm like, you know, what? I'm going to answer this right now. And maybe I'll wake up to, you know, a thousand dollar sale. I have no problem with getting out of bed for five minutes to answer chats. So um, it's my mentality is, is all it's, it's, it is business as much as I love it being music first. It's mm -hmm. for me. And that I think that I think is what, uh, when some people hit me up for advice, I think that's the first thing I have to differentiate for them is that it's okay. If you want to just make beats for fun, you should be able to just make beats for fun, but you also have to figure out the gap. The gap is that you need to take it from, the fun place to now start learning how to get the other side of your brain to understand the concept of uh, even customer psychology, how to make people feel comfortable. They don't know you. You are, mm -hmm. just, you know, a young guy that has a website and you're asking for PayPal and, and personal information. Maybe you got to get on the phone with them. Like maybe you have to make them know that you're a real person, jump on a WhatsApp video, something. So um, I'm not sure if that answers a lot of the question, but that that's, does. that's where I come from. I come from, not just putting this stuff up there and seeing what happens. I put it up there, pull people in, have questions answered, no, let them know I'm human, let them know that I know they're human, and then mm -hmm. try to close the deals. And the one deal leads to the next deal, to the next. Eventually, they don't need you on the phone. Eventually, they don't need you to answer messages. They know who you are. They know what to expect. And they just start hitting the PayPal and, and strike buttons. And, and then you have a, a great relationship. That's, that's what happens.